This is the SoCal Update, I'm Cara Santa Maria. LA has some of the best movie houses in the world. And finally, some good news for filmgoers who are ready again for the silver screen experience. It's Tuesday, May 4th. As recently as last week, film lovers were facing the prospect of going back to the movies, with two of the best local theater chains out of business. John Horn is here to share some good news about one of those closed circuits. John, what's the latest? Well, sadly, it doesn't involve the Cinerama Dome or any other screens that have been operated by the Pacific Art-like chain. And as it stands, there are no plans for that exhibitor to reopen ever. What's more, the Santa Monica Place Mall is trying to evict Arclight, saying in a lawsuit it owes nearly $2 million in back rent. But the Alamo Draft House, a Texas-based chain that opened a swank new multiplex in downtown LA just two years ago, says it will be back in business on May 28th, and that's just a few weeks after declaring bankruptcy. Why is Alamo Draft House such a popular chain? And Honestly, how was it able to reopen so fast? Well, it has great lineups. I mean, new movies, both big studio releases and indie films, terrific classic films, and add to that Southwest gastropub food delivered to your seat with a draft beer, of course. And as far as the turnaround, two investors who had backed the chain stepped in and got the doors opened again really fast. So coming back to the eviction at the Santa Monica Mall, how important are Arclight and Pacific theaters to shopping venues? Well, think about this. The theaters inside the Grove and the Americana malls used to draw a lot of guests to those outdoor shopping centers. A lot of people stuck around to shop or eat. And the owner of those malls, Rick Caruso, has said that he's looking into taking over the theaters there. But it's really unclear if any of the theaters will be sold piecemeal and whether or not any new owner would be on the hook for all the chain's back rent. 